Alright, welcome back to Godhood. We are embarking on our virgin episode on our brand new run where we look up to the skies above and worship the divine light known as chastity and peace. We will not fall for the temptation of lust this time. We will not strike down our enemies in violent war. We shall bring the light to this world that it requires. We shall bring the purity of chastity. We shall bring the helping hand of peace. We will unite every single island together under one single banner. What is that banner you probably are asking? This right here is the holy banner that we shall adhere to. As you can see, how shall we address you? He is known as the Great Angel. What is our religion called? It is the Holy See. What are your worshippers called? They are the Holy Iron Chain Knights. This is as close as I could kind of uh, make the character out to be. We're going with a lot of white, a lot of holiness involved here. I'm hoping that a lot of you are probably catching the gist of this here, and if not, well, I'll let you know right now. We are shaping our deity after Father Moskus. Uh, but Falcon, Father Mo Don't you ruin it for the rest of us, actually. Let's get underway. In my name, you will spread. You will spread chastity. Purity, chastity. It starts with a clean body and mind. You must treat your body like an oasis, like a pure worshiping site. Nothing evil, nothing lustiness, no violent will inherit your being. We will purge sins through cleansing and abstinence. Lust will become a vice and may not be selected as a commandment later. It doesn't matter. We don't need lust in our life because we have the purity of chastity. Oh my god, look at our colors too. That is beautiful. I think that's a divine class that Aline might be starting off with too, which is just perfect. Game, you're treating me so well with this startup here. The great angel washes your soul. Aleem is trying to purify these heathens, but they dare not accept it into their heart. You will give me a nightmare. You will strike me with an ineffective attack. Let's just wash ourselves and start anew. Aleem is trying. Oh, Duke, we actually have a skill that recovers um, religion HP this time, too. I like that a lot. This is like a new class I, I I did. I mean, it's not a new class. I'm pretty sure it was available in our last run. But not once did I ever um, draw this class, I don't think. That's fine. You brought Aleem down, but Aleem tried. Don't worry about it, Aleem. What I'm going to try to do this run too as well is keep Aleem's bloodline going. So I'm hoping they don't develop a terrible offspring. But if they do, we'll stick with that offspring. I want us to get to the very end. With Alim's bloodline at the end with us this time. Because I know we we lost the first bloodline of the first follower in my last run. This time we're going to be doing things a lot different. So, as we enter the Age of Darkness, how appropriate. Because we are here to bring light into this Age of Darkness. It is something that we cannot accept as the holy beings that we are. Alright, let's go forward here. We are bringing some new believers about. They want to believe. We will give them a reason to believe. Because we are here with a new dawn. By praying to the holy site center, Alim's faith in the great angel grew. The more faith a disciple has, the better they serve. Two disciples, in awe of this prayer, pledged themselves to holy see. They were young. Kokstal. And Sipak. You could have given me like the most difficult names out there in the world. Huh? What about Joe? What about Mark? <laughs> Just something easy, huh? Alim preached to the new disciples, we must travel far and wide and prove the great angels greatness in the holy sacraments. Victory in the sacrament will convert new holy iron chain knights. With more holy iron chain knights, the great angel will grow more powerful. Go, my disciples. Let's go out and about, but before we go out and about, let me see what we got here. Okay, 18 years old, 18 years old. Alim is starting off as 33? Yo! <laughs> Are we even to get like new acolytes coming in before you grow gray? Well, that's fine. Don't worry. That's fine. Was that did that happen with the first run too? I don't remember. It feels like it's been a while. I have a terrible memory. I don't really recall. All right. Well, here we are. That's the old city. Believe me, we shall return right now. We'll come down here and beat the scrubs up in the name of divine purification. 
Because as we're seeing, we have godless Cretans among us, and they will be turning over to the light. Attacks all around, cleansing the body and the soul. Striking with the holy stick for two damage. It seems very low right now, but that holy stick will at one point do, and Aleem's defying. Aleem is saying, cover your ears, do not listen to that heretical filth brought upon by the godless. We adhere to a better, more beautiful call. Religion HP. I'm, I'm already loving that Religion HP heal thing, by the way, let me tell you. <laughs> I always wanted that for my last run, and I can never really draw like a favored class for that. One of the things I want to do different for this run, by the way, in case you're wondering what I plan to change, we're not just going to go with favored class. Like, you know, when they show up and it's kind of like, oh, these are the three favorite class you want to go by. Nah, 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 man. We're going to go by any class that we need at the moment. And more importantly, we're going to be trying classes that we didn't really mess around with last time. Yeah, so Aleem is an ascetic, which apparently spreads your purity and chastity, which I'm pretty sure that is the reason why we never saw this on our run last time. We had the, the lust. So because of the lust, we could not draw anything chastity-wise because it just wouldn't fit. So that's the reason why we never saw this last time around. But yeah, as I mentioned, we're going to be choosing just whatever we kind of like really feel like trying out. I just want to go different with character classes this time around too. So since we already have ourselves a divine class, um, let's see, four Koskatlaulaulau. What am I going to go with you? We have a druid, we have an ascetic, and a smite sword. Another ascetic. I wouldn't be opposed to having like a very divine and light heavy tribe though. It kind of would make sense in a way when you think about it, huh? It would put us at a disadvantage against a lot of classes whenever we go up against them. But it feels like almost right based on what we got here. What do you guys think? Focus on a little bit of everything or go very divine and light heavy. Now I know Koskatlau, your favorite thing is in socks, but that's fine. You're going to be our songsmith for this one. So let's select class here. And for Sipakli. We got Guardian. We had Topio last time around who was Guardian base. Um, Rage Prophet is something we also use as well in this setting. Well, how about... How about at least for now we start off very, very divine and light heavy. So, let's make you... A Zealot. So we'll have Zealot, we'll have Ascetic, and we'll have a Songsmith. So, Prayer Sight. Place this building. Right there. And... Uh, storytelling. Let's build up this side here for now. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm also a little bit smarter when it comes to the, you know, when we should be charging our miracles and when we should be using them. Right now we're neutral. I want to have a chance that wondrous miracles are really off. I just want to have a really OP party now and all the basics of the game. So we're not going to go ahead and charge you guys up right now. Let's just have you work on getting that fate a little bit up and above. Can you guys get happy though, please? Thank you. We are ready, and we also got ourselves apparently our first level. Level 2. As the Holy Iron Chain Knights flocked together, Holy Sea grew into a first gathering. 22. Let's confirm this. Alright. In order to collect the required offerings you require, your disciples wish to build an offering stockpile. You are correct about that. We are going to need that. Where do we want our offering stockpile, you're saying? Let's put this up and above our little center here for this time around. Okay, so Aleem, we said, what do we need for you? We said devotion and HP, right? So you'll probably be going off to prayer side along with... Xipapla? Xipapapla. <laughs> I should really... I should really do some renames too as well for this. Okay, Miracle. We got the minor one? See, I waited, I, I, I waited, I gave you enough time to go up to happy. And you bring me a minor prayer ritual. Sipatil pray to the great angel when they finally answer the great angel acknowledged Sipatil devotion and blessed him and his family, except his uncle. He got a terrible disease. Well, you know what? Maybe your uncle was up to no good. Maybe he really wasn't following the righteous word of the Holy See. Have you thought about that? Sipatil, we got, we got, we have to have a couple of words, is all I'm gonna say. Alright, we're gonna have to have a couple of words here. See? Aleem had no problem bringing the wondrous prayer miracle. Of course, Aleem wasn't static, but still. You know what? Don't even give me that. The holy iron chain knights watched Aleem pray in quiet admiration. As Aleem's words rose to the sky, they saw the light of the great angel come down upon her. It's a clear sign that we've been blessed. Absolutely. Plus 5-2 to fate, plus 2 to devotion. 
One charisma, one might, a little bit of everything, obviously. And what are we going with here? Devotion or HP? Well, we're, we're doing really bad because even though you start out as ascetic, your stats to focus on were charisma and cunning. Um, and unfortunately, you drew the class that requires HP and devotion, which are very low. So we have to work on damage potential. So devotion is definitely going to go with here right now. All right, so we got a random summit of our initiates here, which is perfectly fine because we are looking for new pure acolytes that will definitely see the light of the Holy Sea across the lands. Because right now, I'm not exactly too proud of Koskatlil and Siplapapla too much right now. So it's fine. Several Holy Iron Chain Knights have traveled to the Holy Site, eager to become your next disciples. You may summon his initiates to determine who is worthy enough to become an acolyte of the Holy Sea. So, you know, obviously not the best initiate, but we're going to make sure that we keep them around and they have a child. We want to finish off with that first bloodline in our party. And Ate from the Seas as well. Okay, we got a doubler. Not too bad. And Yuman. Yuima. Alright, so we could do two more. Now you're thinking, Falcon, you say you're not really enjoying Ko, Scott, blah, blah, whatever, and Sipatil. How about you get out of here as early as possible and try out with Uman, the dog totem? I don't think that's a terrible idea whatsoever. I don't think that's a bad idea whatsoever because honestly, you know, we get we drew the terrible minor one here to begin with, and then Koskatal refuses to ever get apparently happy. So, you know what? Sipatlil. I think for you. Get out of here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Bring the room on. As I mentioned, we're doing this run a lot differently. I'm going to be experimental. A little bit brazen as well, see how it treats us. So, two new rooks, that's enough for us to go out and about. Let's go ahead and drop them with a little bit of faith work if we can. All right, Ali. You keep these rookies nice and toasty and warm here. Cleanse these heretics. Ooh. Crit already for Ney, you know. Being out there in the field with Mommy is doing her wonders. That 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 hurt a little bit. Not happy about that. Would have preferred if Alim had blocked probably the one towards her daughter, but that's fine. Let's wash ourselves. Yeah, go ahead and wash up. Look at that. We almost cleared her up completely. All of her HP's back as well. I'm really gonna like this aesthetic class, man. I'm really gonna like I'm gonna make sure we keep a lot of those around. Nervous? Uh -huh, no! Don't you dare. It's over. Okay. Might have to give Nay a little bit of recovery time, but that's fine. Since we did fate work, we should be able to come back and just drop a miracle in that time. Hopefully heal up for the next one. Unlock classes. So for Nay, um, we have a Songsmith. A zealot. We got rid of our last zealot, remember that? So, um, since Ney is the daughter of Alim, we could go with that. So, yeah, let's just straight up go with that one right now. And then, Ate. Ascetic. Another ascetic. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Let's go with another ascetic. Why not? Why absolutely not? And hopefully those miracles are good to go with some happiness. Give me some happiness. Koskatal, bring me a wondrous one too. Yeah, we got the in the middle neutral. I accept it. I'll accept it. At least it wasn't minor like that first dude. We got ourselves a tune of life. Blessed be. Let's go back out. Unfortunately, our easy beat up spot though is in downtime. Um, we should be able to do this one though just fine. As long as we have a Lehman there. We'll also bring in Goskatlal, sure. And the rookies are recovering, perfect. So this will give us a chance to get Uman's class. So that's fine. That works out beautifully for us, I would say. I'm already loving this um, aesthetic class a lot. And Uman, what do you got for us here? A smite sword. <laughs> well, so far, so far we might as well keep it rolling. Divine and light all about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. Make sure you leave some comments down below and any suggestions you want to see. I'm open to them. And let's have another good run here. I'll catch you guys next time.